Now that I can use GPUs serverlessly in Cloud Run, what can I do with it? Good question. You can run different open source models on it, like Stable Diffusion XL for image generation. And let me show you how. Welcome to the show, Lisa. What do you do here at Google Cloud? I'm a product manager at Google Cloud, focusing on Cloud Run and GKE. And my years of experience in the cloud industry have given me a deep understanding of the challenges enterprises face. I am passionate about using this knowledge to drive product development and ensure a seamless user experience for our customers. Seamless user experience. I love it. Uh, so what are we building today, Lisa? We're building a simple AI inference application that generates images. It uses the Stable Diffusion Excel model with TorchSurf running seamlessly on Cloud Run. Once deployed, the application will allow you to generate images simply by providing a text prompt describing the image you want. And here is an example of what it can do. But you could also use Google's hosted Imagen model for image generation. Uh, why are we using Stable Diffusion? Google's Imagen model is really good. It's hosted by Google and then generates photorealistic images. It's easy to call from your code, so you can get your application to market quickly if you use that. On the other hand, if you host your own model or open models on Cloud Run, you get more control, you get more transparency and customization. And that's what we're doing today. Ah, I see. So you said before that we're going to set up Stable Diffusion XL in Cloud Run. Uh, can viewers try it for themselves? Yeah, of course. You can follow along in the collab. Martin, can you please make sure to include the link in the show notes? OK, will do. All right. The first step is to enable the right APIs in your Google Cloud project. And I have done that in my project. But the collab lists all the commands for this. Got it. Next. I will create a TorchServe app. TorchServe is an open source model serving library that makes my life easier to work with the Stable Diffusion XL model. And the Stable Diffusion XL model will run in a GPU enabled Cloud Run service. Then I will create a requirements file that lists all the libraries the application will use. I will add a file called a config.properties that gives TorchServe its configuration. Now it's time to add the main code of the application. I will create a new file called Stable Diffusion Handler and paste the code from the code lab in there. Whoa, that's a lot of code. Uh, where does the image generation happen? Here, in the inference method, and that's where the real action happens. This inference method takes a list of input prompts and generates images using the loaded models. It first used the pipeline to generate an initial image from the prompt. And then it used the refiner to refine the image and remove the artifacts. Ah, got it. Next, I will create a shell script file that starts the torch serve application. I will ask Cloud Run to call this shell script. Cloud Run runs and scales containers for us in the cloud. So I need a Docker file to build that container. Here, at the end of the Docker file, I'm asking Cloud Run to execute the shell script that starts the Torch Serve application. Ah, understood. And now it's time to deploy the app? Yeah, that is right. It takes some time to download a stable Diffusion XL model from the internet. So to speed things up, let's run these two commands to set up a cloud net. And that will increase the bandwidth to Hugging Face website where the model is stored. Sounds useful. Uh, deployment time? Yeah, it is. First, I will run gcloud build summit to build a container. And this command will build a container in the cloud on a Google hosted build server. It will take a while, so let's take a tea break. And we're back. The build was completed successfully. Now I will run gcloud run deploy to deploy the build container and give it a public HTTPS address. And it looks like you're setting up Cloud Run to use GPUs here, Lisa. Yeah, GPU equals one means that the service will use one GPU. 
and the GPU type flag specify the service will use the NVIDIA L4 GPU. Let's run that command. It will take a minute to complete. Looks like the deployment finished. It did. Let's try it out. First, let's put the service URL in an environment variable. Next, let's set up environment variable for the prompt. And I'll ask for an image of a dog running in the park, since the dog is my favorite pet. And then I will run this curl command to send a request to my app with the prompt. And this will take a minute also due to the Cloud Run service code start. And it's done. Here is the image. Very nice. Um, could the dog wear a pink shirt and sunglasses? Sure, let's do it. I will send another request to the app with a new prompt. And here you are. This is the image. How do you like it, Martin? It looks great, Lisa. Uh, well, thank you for showing us this, Lisa. Yeah, thanks for having me, Martin. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions for Lisa or me, please add them in the comments. Also, please let me know what you thought of this episode. I read every single comment. I can't wait to see what you build.